Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are taking a look at the Messages app in iOS 8. So there are quite a few changes going on here even though a lot of the stuff looks the same and I'm going to show you most of that here today. Now we are going to start out by going into this message here and as you can see there's actually quite a bit going on around the keyboard area. Now we'll get into some of these other features in a bit but we do have a really cool option that allows you to quickly respond to a message with an audio message. Yeah, if you hold that down you can actually talk and respond and then you can just swipe up to send off the audio message just like that and the person on the other side can actually listen to it in line within the message. Now the same goes with video as well. So if we hold down the camera button right here, we can swipe to the right to start recording a video as you can see right there. And then once we're done with that, all you have to do is swipe up to the top and it will send off that video just like that. And again, that can be viewed in line with the message here in the messages app. So a very, very useful feature here in iOS 8. Now, just by tapping the camera here, as you can see, I pull up this new interface to attach a photo, which puts some of our recent photos right at our fingertips and we can select one and choose to send it immediately or add a comment to the photo and then manually send it using the send button there as you can see. Now the next set of features I want to show you lives in the details portion up here at the top. So we have tons of things to choose from but if we scroll down to the bottom here you can see that we have a gallery that includes all of the attachments between you and the person you're chatting with in this message. So you can see them all right here in line. It's pretty helpful and we do also have the contact information at the top. We have the ability to send your current location location, share a location, and we have the ability to silence a specific message thread with this do not disturb option. So you can turn that on and quickly silence out that conversation. Now, if you're a fan of group messages, you're going to like this next set of features here. So let me go ahead and start out by creating a group message. We'll just add a couple of contacts here and then type in a quick message that says, hey, and send it off. And what we'll be able to do here is actually get rid of that boring group title up there. As you can see at the top, we have just group, but if we swipe down here in the details section, we have the ability to add a subject line. So I'm going to add party here. Obviously your description may be different, but that changes the thread throughout the messages app. So now we have party up here and then we have Dom Esposito below that, which is very helpful for keeping your group messages organized. We also do have the ability to add and remove contacts to this thread and we can leave the conversation if we are not the creator. So if you don't want to be in this group message anymore, you can quickly leave it using that button right there, which is extremely helpful because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten caught up in a group message and not been able to leave and had to deal with notifications going on and on. It was just very, very annoying. Now, the last thing I want to show you here is the ability to quickly delete multiple threads within the messages app. I know it sounds like something stupid simple that we should have had for a long time, but I'm glad it's finally here and I'm not going to complain anymore. So this is just a quick preview of the Messages app here in iOS 8. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.